So, are Chinese companies in the golden age of deal making? The volumes speak for themselves. China's outbound mergers and acquisitions hit a fresh record of more than 111 billion US dollars last year, according to a new report. But still, only a fraction of those deals are successfully completed. Our reporter Martina Fuchs finds out why. Chinese companies are poised to join the top ranks of international deal makers as outbound mergers and acquisitions are on the rise. China's outbound M&A volume increased for the sixth consecutive year to a record high of 111.9 billion US dollars in 2015, breaching the 100 billion US dollar mark for the first time ever. A report from Deal Logic showed this week. At the Global Mergers and Acquisitions Summit 2016 on Friday in Beijing, industry insiders agreed with this trend. Yes, we have seen uh, tremendous growth in over the last 10 years. It's been growing at over 30 percent year over year. And we see this trend continue in the next five or ten years in the foreseeable future. In several areas, one's going to be energy, which will also include raw materials going out to attain uh, distribution for oil and gas, uh, coal production lines, as well as the raw materials for manufacturing. Uh, the second area would be services, and uh, the third is also going to be real estate. Europe was the top targeted region for Chinese acquisitions and accounted for almost one-third of total outbound M&A, with 31.3 billion U.S. dollars via 136 deals in 2015, the highest volume and activity level on record. And the most recent example this week, Wanda Group bought Hollywood studio Legendary Entertainment for 3.5 billion U.S. dollars in what was China's largest cross-border cultural acquisition to date. Wanda is a typical M&A case, just like Fosun as well. Fosun has been acquiring heavily in the insurance sector in overseas markets. ICBC has also bought smaller banks, for example, in South Africa. But the challenges are numerous. Uh, first challenge is the uh, culture difference, tremendous culture difference between the East and the West, and they have to know how to manage it. First have to recognize it and then know how to manage it. The second is the total different management style. In, in China and or, or, over uh, Western countries, totally different maturity, so they would have tend to have a very much different view on how to manage companies. But impressive gross numbers mask some less impressive statistics. Chinese buyers complete just 67 percent of their outbound deals, on average far fewer than those by European or U.S. counterparts. So what is causing so many deals to fail? Well, the main culprits are unclear M&A strategies and ineffective deal management. Even after deals get completed, they often fall short of their goals because of poorly executed post-merger integration. Martina Fox, CCTV News, Beijing.